Welcome to Math 20 Online, Columbia Gorge Community College, The Dells, Oregon, Mr. Hewitt Instructor. And no, I'm not Mr. Hewitt. I am actually Mrs. Hewitt, and I teach the CAS Computer Applications class. And I'm going to teach this lesson to you about Moodle, uploading, downloading, how to get your format right so your instructor can actually grade your work. Some of those really important details that tend to be struggles for students that aren't used to taking online classes. So you've logged in. You're going to work your way through. You've been doing all your links. You've been reading everything. You've moved down here, and now you're ready to take your first week's test. You've watched your YouTubes. You've done your assignments. You've done all your class lectures, class PowerPoints, your homework checks. And now you're ready to take your test. So you're going to click on the test. And depending on what browser you're using, what program you're using to internet, access the internet, depends on how it's going to download. If you're using Safari on a, on a Mac, you can download Chrome on a Mac, but Chrome and Safari are the two common ones on a Mac. If you're using um, Internet Explorer, which is really common on PCs, on your Windows type machines, or Firefox, you're going to need to right click this link and ask it to save link as, or save file as, or save however it's phrased. It will be a save as link. When you do that, it's going to bring up this box that will let you then decide where you want to put it. If you want it on your desktop, you click there. You go ahead and download it to your desktop. If that's not what you want and you're using a flash drive, a removable drive of some sort, flash, um, USB, uh, thumb drive, they're all the same thing, it's just different names for the same piece of equipment, you would want to then put it here. Go ahead and choose, and you could download it. There you go. And you would want to put it here. The first one didn't come down quite as right, I was actually downloading this. So you get your test, it should say test for me. Now if you're using Google Chrome, which is my favorite, which is what I am using, and the reason I'm using it you're going to see in about two seconds. I just simply go to my link, I hit I want my test, and it just magically brings it right down here on the bar. I love Chrome because of that. Then I can make this just enough smaller that I can grab my test, pull it over here. Now this is where the problem comes. If this comes down, it has a nice blue W on it like this does. That means you probably have Word, Microsoft Office Word, somewhere installed on your machine. I don't know which version you have. You can have 2007, 2010, 2014, 365. Any of those will open this file. If you have an older Office, like back into 2003 and older, it won't open it. If you double click, this wonderful Word blue box comes up. You just click Enable Editing, and you're good to go. Life is good. You're ready to start taking your test. However, if that's not the case, and this comes up looking like, you know, Chinese, Russian, or who knows what, and you have no way to access this material, it doesn't look right over here, it doesn't have this type of look, you have another option, and there is a way to solve this problem. However, you do need to then access your college email, your CGCC email. It is a Google um, Gmail account. You may not see that from the way it looks, but it is run on a, on a Gmail server. And so because of that, you would get in, get in. Now this is not a college account because teachers don't get that, instructors don't have that. But this is mine that I use for these types of things. You should see this little box of the squares over here. You're going to click on that, and you should see Drive. You want to get to that Google Drive. When you open that Google Drive, you have to get the test from wherever it is on your desktop or your flash drive where you have downloaded it. Download means you take it from somewhere up there in the sky where the server is with Moodle down to your desktop or flash drive. So now I need to upload it again to Gmail. That means I need to take it from my desktop up to the Gmail server. So I'm going to say new file upload. 
it's going to say, where do you want me to find this from? And I'm going to go right down here, and I'm going to say right here. Test Chapter 1, Form A, click on it, tell it to open. It's going to take it a minute to run across here. You can kind of watch it go. Depending on the file size and your internet speed to how quick it will get the upload done. But once it's there, you will see it populate or jump up in this list right here. Once you've got it in this list, you're going to double click on it. And you're still not quite done. You're going to see the test in a minute, but you really can't do anything with it. You need to say edit, which is going to put it over into what's called Google Docs. It's going to move it from the drive to the document type program. So it's going to take it a second, not forever, but a little bit, and there it is. Now once it's here, you can start to rock mark your answers. So please do not choose these answers. I haven't even read the questions. I can change the color of the text or the highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight it in red. And or if I want to choose, if I like a different color, I can highlight it in yellow. Whatever color it is I choose, I'm going to use. I can go ahead and get it highlighted. Make sure I do all my questions. I can scroll down just like you would in any other word editing process. All your charts, graphs, and images seem to be appearing like they should. Life is actually pretty good. Now, the nice thing it does is it says all changes have been saved. So every change you made is automatically saved in Drive. Last edit was seconds ago. In other words, not very long ago. So once you see that, it's done there. And you've got the test all done. And you're ready to get it back. So you can turn it into your instructor. You're going to go File, Download As. And you have some choices. Microsoft Word is one of those choices. It means you won't be able to open it on your machine, but you can use your machine as kind of the pass-through to get it to Moodle. And that works fine. Mr. Hewitt can open that and grade that. The other option is a PDF file. Now, if you're using a Mac and you're using like Pages or something that comes from Mac side, and if you want to upload it and it gives you a PDF option, that is always a, a possibility. If you can whatever program you're using, Open Office, Pages, whatever, if it gives you PDF, you're going to be okay. Just make sure you save it as a PDF. So if I save it as a PDF, that's fine. I can save it as a Word doc, that's fine. Whichever one I choose to do, I'm going to download. And basically what it will do is bring it down on this toolbar. Now if you're using one of the other browsers, the Internet Explorer, the Firefox, the Safari, you're going to have to go find it. And you're going to have to know where it is. Because if you don't go find it, it's going to be really hard to turn in. Because you will have lost it. And then you will be probably grumpy. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it off here. And I'm going to go back to my Moodle. And I'm going to go to my test upload. Now I'm going to make a mistake on purpose because I want you to see what happens when you made a mistake. I'm going to add my submission. And I'm going to drag and drop. It's going to think about it for a few seconds. And again, depending on the speed of your internet, is how long it thinks about it. And then I'm going to save changes. Now I'm all happy. I think I've got this done. Life looks good. But I should always check it. And so I'm going to just double check. I've got everything right. I'm going to open that thing up. I'm going to look at it again. Make sure I've got everything uploaded. Oh, this is the blank test. I didn't want to upload that. That's a goof. Oh my heavens, I turned in the blank test. Oh no, oh no. So now I need to edit my submission. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that. I'm going to go back in here. And if I just click on it, it gives me the delete option. And then I can get the right file, drag it, and drop it. Then I can save my changes. When it gets there, it'll give me the icon, and the icon tells me it's ready. Till then, I just sort of sit and wait. And it can take a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes even sometimes. You might want to go get a cup of coffee if you have to, or stand up and wiggle. And then hit Save Changes. 
I can also double check this by clicking on it, opening it, or save link as and double check it. But now that I've got it, I'm pretty happy. Life is good. I've got it uploaded and ready to go. That hopefully will help you. Please be careful you do not turn in files with an ODT file ending. There's no way those can be opened on this end. Therefore, you will not get a grade for it. You'll get a message that says basically that you have to go back and try again. DOCXs and PDFs are what you need to get turned in. A DOC will work. The only problem is the file comes down in a DOCX and you probably won't be able to open it. So hopefully that helps you deal with Moodle and deal with the test so that you can be successful in class.